No nonsense gin drinking. All gin, no nonsense. Ah, hello gin lovers. Welcome back. Oh my God, I nearly broke the desk. I'm Bobby Freeman and today my friend, well, before I tell you what we're featuring today, I must just apologize again for the slightly sporadic sort of release of videos this month. It's only because we've got family staying with us and it's a little bit tricky trying to sort of fit the filming in and everything. So it'll be a little bit up and down this month, but don't you worry because once December comes around, we are going to be firing on all cylinders. I guarantee you that. However, that said, let me introduce you to today's gym, which is this rather sort of rather flamboyant fetching little fellow, which goes by the name of Tarquin's Strawberry and Lime Gin. That's right, we've got another Tarquins on the show. Now, my, my regular viewers and subscribers will know that I have featured quite a few Tarquins. I've got the original one up there, which is very, very good. I have a lot of time for that, even though I bought just a tiny little bottle of it. I've somehow managed to make it last. But of course, we've also had an absolute plethora of flavors from Tarquins. I don't think I've got any here in the studio. I keep them mostly in the house because me and Narissa are absolutely smashing through them at the moment. But I, from memory, I think we had a Blackberry one. There was a, yep, that's as far as my memory goes. Hang on, wait a minute. Nope, we had an, an, an orange one as well, a blood orange one. I'm sure there was another one, but my memory these days is uh, a, a slow creaking mechanism. So you'll just have to look up the rest. But anyway, my point is that I like Tarquins a great, great deal. They're all the way from down in the south, uh, the most southern, I think it's the most southern, yeah, the southernmost point of England, which is known as Cornwall. Very nice part of the world, and they produce some extraordinary gin. And of course, they sort of produce gin that looks absolutely kind of Pretty eye-watering, like you could eat the whole bottle, to be honest. So I'm very much looking forward to getting stuck into this fellow today, because as you know on this channel, I love a strawberry gin. So, strawberry and lime? Hmm, not quite sure. I'm pretty sure we had a strawberry and lime one before. It's ringing a bell. Not a very big bell, a tiny, minute little bell, but a bell nonetheless. But as I say before, my uh, memory isn't quite what it used to be. So um, I say we crack on and find out a little bit about this fella, shall we? But before we do, oh, in fact, before, before we do, I almost forgot. I have to thank another one of my wonderful subscribers who has become a patron of the show. So thanks to, he's a, on, on Patreon, he's only got his first name. So I'm not going to give the whole name. I don't know the whole name. I do actually know the whole name, but he's only given his first name on Patreon. So I shall only read it out today in uh, the interests of uh, privacy and data protection, whatever they are. Anyway, his name is Ryan. So Ryan, you know very well who you are, and I know well who you are. This is a, this is a rather strange section of the show. I didn't think it would be this long. But anyway, you get the idea. Ryan, you are an official supporter of the show. You are a gentleman and I salute you. So then, what I was just going to say was it's because it's from Cornwall, I shall be breaking out the good old Cornish accent. When I say my Cornish accent, it's kind of a general Cornish uh, Devon, West Country, anything that's kind of sort of uh, a, a few hundred miles west of London. This is the sort of the, the Lord of the Rings, Fro not Frodo, uh, Samwise from Lord of the Rings style. Thick. Good Lord, I think I really need to get on with this. Bring in a little Cornish sunshine to every glass with our celebration of the great British strawberry. And that's a good point, actually. It's worth mentioning. I think tr surely the British strawberry is the greatest of all the strawberries. It's not, it's not many things we can claim to be great at, but strawberry is one. I can't think of anything else at the moment, but we're very good at the strawberries. Our flagship Tarquin's Cornish Gin is first distilled in small batches. With the addition of extra fresh lime zest, then post-distillation, we lovingly infuse the sweet strawberries in season. Tasting notes, wild strawberry, fresh juniper, and cracked black pepper on the nose. Pepper on the nose. That's basically a posh way of saying it smells like something. It's weird that, isn't it? Because you never hear that sort of expression applied to any other type of smells. It's mostly just sort of pleasant smells. You never hear anyone say, oh dear, I've just been down the park. There's a bit of a touch of dog shit on the nose. Zesty lime, sweet orange blossom, and warm spice on the palate. With a finish of strawberry tart, strawberry tart, tart, strawberry jam, candied marmalade, and soft Pine. Oh, 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 my lord. Have you ever heard of such a mix of flavours? I don't think I have, and I run a, a, a mildly successful gin channel. But what I'm basically trying to say is, that sounds extraordinary, and I can barely, wait, I reckon, I can almost feel it sort of throbbing with flavours. So I say, let it throb no longer, get the old top off, and let's find out for ourselves, shall we? 
So then, let's crack open this rather beautiful waxy seal, which they always put on the Tarquins. Apparently, they hand dip it in every time. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if that's a, a good thing or bad thing. I don't know if it's, it would be better if it was hand dipped or machine dipped, but um, I, I don't really care too much. Just crack on. And of course, it does have the cork. So back by popular demand now. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the cork test. And in this situation, the Cornish cork test. The good old Cornish cork test. So we're going for a squeak. No, I think that's... Oh, no, that doesn't count. That was just the wax rubbing against my finger. No squeak at all. So we're going for a full pour. It feels like quite a tight fit to me. So here we go. Hang on. Oh, a champion cork test. Excellent, excellent news. Uh, but not quite up there with some of them, but I'd say sort of medium to high. But anyway, it doesn't matter because we all know it's just a bit of fun. So then, so then, so then. Let's get this little chap in the glass. Now, it, we've tried a lot of strawberry gins on this show, haven't we? But I don't know if you see that. That is kind of, that's not really what you'd think of as a strawberry gin. It looks a bit sort of brownish to me. Um, I hope I've not got a, a, a bad batch that's gone off or something, but let, 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 let's get the old nose in there nonetheless and, uh, and find out, shall we? So, <laughs> man alive. That is, I, I would describe it as a titillation, a titillation in the nasal cavities. It basically, would you know it was strawberry? Hmm. I think so, I think so, but it's strawberry that's kind of deep and sort of, there's way more depth and sort of three dimension to it. I guess that I'm getting more kind of fruity, almost kind of more orangey, but with a definite kind of sizzle of lime in there as well. It's kind of, oh, feels like it's sort of got like a huge, depth of just it, it's hard to describe but it tastes kind of a whiff of the countryside about it i'm not sure that's not always a nice whiff by the way but as, as i illustrated along with the uh, dog shit metaphor but in this case it tastes kind of healthy and kind of homegrown and homemade that's the sort of thing anyway I, I think that's enough talking about the smell let's let's crack on and find out what she damn well tastes like shall we so i believe it is abv Come on. 38% volume, so it's just slightly above the 37.5% we would expect from one of these fruity gins, which I quite like. They managed to eke another 0.5% out of it. So let's get the old tonic. I can't, mind you, I think this is going to be an excellent one neat. I think this could break my rule of not generally liking neat gin, but let's stick that in nonetheless. Oh my God, it's got kind of a sort of a golden to it, golden color to it now. This is going to be exceptional I think. Anyway, let's crack on. So thank you again to all my patrons and my YouTube members who are literally paying to the gin and I say to you all, cheers. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Hmm. Do you notice a little bit of a hiatus there? And that was because it wasn't quite doing what I expected it to do. From a strawberry gin, I expect a massive, massive hit of just strawberryness, and I absolutely love it. The reason I sort of stopped, it wasn't a bad thing, it was just, it didn't do it in the way that I expected it to do it. It's kind of more of a, more of a sort of a, I'd say a sort of a, a foresty, fruity kind of sort of flavor, and a little bit sort of, there's a tanginess in there. It, to me, it feels like, Feels like the, it's kind of more of a, closer to the blood orange, I would say, but they've upped the kind of the zestiness with that sort of addition of the lime. You can definitely get that. It's given it a real kind of, that sort of bittery, zizzly sort of limey twist. But the strawberry side, it's kind of very subtle. It's kind of looming in there, sort of rather mysteriously, but it's like a phantom. You think you hear a strawberry here. Hear a strawberry? What does a strawberry sound like? I don't know. But anyway, you think you sort of get a, 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 a sort of a, a, an idea that there's a strawberry there, and you go, oh, and it's gone. There's no strawberry there at all. Then it's here, you're like, oh, it's gone again. And yeah, you're probably right. That's a very strange way of describing a gin, but I think it kind of works. There's sort of a, a sort of a mysterious strawberry essence about it, but I quite like that. Because there's so many strawberry gins out there, they all become, they're not the same because they are all very different in their own ways, but they're still very, very much recognizably strawberry. However, 
the guys at Tarquins, they are an excellent, excellent gym maker. They've kind of woven it in and made it very, very much their own. And I like the way with the addition, the, the, the way they added the orange in there as well. It's like a sort of a, a fruit selection, really, rather than a strawberry gin, I would say. Well, strawberry and lime, I know, but uh, lime definitely, maybe they should have called it a lime and other various fruits. <laughs> And that is precisely the reason I don't work in the marketing department at a gin company or indeed anywhere else. Let me have another little... Oh, man. But I tell you this one thing or nothing. It's definitely, definitely nice. So then, let's not mess around. Let's get the old bottle in the mouth, shall we, and try it neat. So here we go. Holy... Shit. Now then. Now then, now then, now then, now then. Okay. Do you know what? I reckon it's, it's, get that over a bit of ice. That, I haven't told you what it's like yet. It, this, okay. So the strawberry, okay, let me compose myself. So now, neat, hmm, the strawberry kind of comes to the fore a lot more. It's way, way up the front, rather mean sort of, as I say, but rather mean sort of sneakily, sort of spookily haunting the drink, the strawberryness. Now it's wham, bam, it's like, open the door, it's like, strawberry, strawberry, right there. That's a great big strawberry, no mistaking it. And the others take kind of a back seat. They sort of come along as sort of a dusky trail of oranginess and tanginess and that, just that gentle sort of sizzle of lime as well. Wow, that, I don't think I've ever known a gin to be so starkly different and such a contrast between neat and with the tonic. So all in all, whew, what a ride. However, my friends, how bloody ever. What are we gonna pay? What, as I like to sometimes say, are we gonna have to pay for this little fellow? Well, I shall bloom and well tell you, otherwise there's not much point in me being here. It is kind of where I'd like to be. It's, it's kind of a mainstream gin now, I would say, certainly here in the UK. So this is 36 pounds, which is equivalent of about $48 or 42 euros, which 35 pounds, I don't usually mind paying. You know, I don't, I, I don't like to pay more than 30 pounds usually. In fact, you know what? No, it is a little bit more. I'd say for the mainstream gyms they are, the gin company they are now, I reckon that should be down a little bit more, to be honest. I think maybe down towards the 30 pound mark. However, having said that, it is pretty spectacular and extraordinarily unique. So on this occasion, I don't mind pushing the envelope, uh, 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 oh God. Pushing the envelope slightly further than usual. If I had an envelope there, I'd probably, and I usually have my envelope here. That's where I like to keep my envelopes. I'd probably put it to, Maybe about there, but definitely not there. So then guys, so, 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 to sum up today, Tarquin's Strawberry and Lime Gin. There, as I've said before, there are a lot of strawberry flavored gins on the market. We are awash, quite literally drowning in strawberry flavored gins. However, if you do enjoy a strawberry flavored gin and you're getting kind of sick of the ones that are sort of, you know, just varying differentiations, differentiations versions, you know what I mean? Varying degrees of strawberry, this, is gonna be something very, very different. If there's one thing I like in gin, it's this whole idea. But the thing is that, that gin is so diverse and sort of so, so varied. And this is a, yet again, another variation that I've never tried anything like, even after two and a half, almost three years of doing this show. So I'd say hats off to the people at the Tarquin's Gin Distillery because they're creating something unique out of something that has become quite run of the mill. So if you see this on your shelves, wherever you are in the world, I don't know if it's managed to filter around the world yet, but if you see it and you like the strawberry and the very sweet gins, you're gonna love this fella. So guys, that's me done for another day. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it useful and informative. If you did, then please don't forget to press the like button on this video, uh, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you get notified when my new videos come out. And if you wanna support the show like good old Ryan did, head over to the old Patreon page or indeed the uh, uh, press the button below this video to become one of my YouTube members. You, I'm suppressing a burp again, can you tell? Oh God, that feels better. And of course, if you would like to buy some um, uh, overpriced tat with my uh, name on it, if you're not familiar with the word tat, it basically just means, um, um, what is it? Uh, merchandise that is um, of not particular, uh, not particularly high quality, then please have a look at my uh, merch page and buy one of these wonderful products. I, 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 I'm actually slightly joking there. They, they are actually very good. But until next time, guys, you all know the drill. Take care, stay safe. Thank you to all my patrons and members, and of course, keep drinking the gin.